Martin was that Kenneth Foriata who received the checks. Now, when you read the background, by an undated investor participation memorandum from Data Bank Limited, and subsequently by a letter dated 10th December 1998 from Enterprise Insurance Company Limited, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, that SNIT, was invited to participate in a real estate investment opportunity. The investors claimed that they had acquired a parcel of land lying between the Independence Avenue and Osu Avenue for that purpose. The proposed company is Obutan Developers Limited. That was the company Kenufurata created 1998. Data Bank Shim, Enterprise Insurance Shim, Nina and and create what we call Obutan Dien, Obutan Developers Limited. Snits. He used this to dupe Snits. The document is here. Meridia Chilem so many times. Keno Foriata. He stole your money, went to Europe, went to America. He came back wearing white, white, and we gave him power. Because we are foolish. Ah, Mahama Kacha said it was short memories. You remember the damage that did from 2017 to 2023. We have forgotten. And uh, Amin Adams Kwasi, I'm paying 10 years another one about cleaning the shit of Kenufuriata. Why are you shocked about the nonsense happening about they are selling it? That is them. That is their trademark. They will finish you people. The facts, at least, we have forensic audit of what Kenufuriata did. You need evidence, Grano. We have forensic audit of what Kenu Furiata did with Enterprise Insurance and Data Bank in 1998. And it's the same snit. Suddenly, Yao Osafumafo's son, for some strange reason, now is the boss of snit. The following two weeks, Ken, uh, 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 Brian the Champion is buying all hotels of snit. Are you, are you stupid? Are you not getting it? Elizabeth Ohine is the board chair of SNIT. Elizabeth Ohine. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. <coughs> we are foolish. Mr. Emmanuel Edu Sakodie, Ghana Employees Association or Teso. These are the people who signed that Brian e. Champon, Yen Tong SNIT, no? Hotels, no? Emma, a year MPP4. Brian Ejibi, Elizabeth Ohini Wom, Eye Chief of Staff Wom, they are sharing it. What can you do? Nothing. My name is Pen Dream TV. Pen Dream TV, dear, I see them. You po. You are here for a high Pen Dream TV in Pacho. When you say the news, not all for money, the bro. News, I will be tea in Pacho. So, I didn't want to interview and also I didn't refer. News, we are a presenter platform. We saw for your voice note, not for sending it. I was 0277 128777. The two Pen Dream FM. So, my Ghana for you not to come. Young court, young court, tea, and a story, the bro. And the young United team, Brian the Champion, was summer abba, and it's got to do with SNIT. Any a year SNIT hotels are and the NPP are buying at town in the SNIT for a Tomama Brian the Champion. Now, so what is SNIT for response? I must say the reason why into Muton Sa hotels when you know say the hotels no, baby a do no nini na ayeka. They are not making any money from it into brandy champon kwa or your greek minister or your cabinet minister or no kwa the bit my revival companies in sa hotels in a guno nobody in ghana so what's yes net for reason tia almost say they are letting these hotels go and selling to brandy champon any mp before it is because the hotels are not making money we get it and we have never said say Ghanaians should not invest in the Ghanaian companies but the question here is, are people using their weight, are people using their positions to bully other people to take over state properties? And that is what is happening. Nobody's against a Ghanaian investing in a Ghanaian company. But we are talking about the moral behind it. We can see clearly that there are equally some investors in Ghana who will be willing to go in there and invest. But surprisingly and shockingly, it is a cabinet minister and a Greek minister whose company is the only company that can invest in Senate hotels that are collapsing. (laughs) 
So you ask yourself, say, these people from the one you catch them say from Kufo time and the MPP for starting real free Ghana for her. The MPP can try and equalize from J.A. Kufo time and the MPP for a study of so Muria and the state properties. We didn't even know that. In fact, it was during Kufo's time and a Kenufuriata a crazy idea my friend the Obutan Mokai. The Obutan a year pro a a a a a a a the when a fellow the forensic audit of social security and national trust fund snit worldwide a the investment company limited deloitte and torch or deloitte and this is what we call the Obutan Kenufuriata. Before I go on a uh, uh, brandy champion, this story my end about four times. How can Oforiata created a company or the enterprise insurance, a DP snit, five billion old Ghana? Okay. This is the forensic audit. This is the reason why JJ Rollins and Atamos had a problem. 1999, the Obo Time Project. Ken Oforiata created about three companies Data Bank, Enterprise Insurance, and the Kofa, two companies come and the Leo Snet. And a snit ever invest here in a project which never existed. At the end of the day, Kenofurata ran away with over five billion old Ghana cities. There was a forensic audit that clearly said Kenofurata is supposed to be jailed. When Atamos came to power 2010, JJ Rollins told Atamos that these guys are criminals. Jail them. Atamos was like father for all. Oh, let's try and meet halfway that is the money can took from us sent to the state came back in white clothes and has destroyed us again yeah jimmy can when you take this document and you read it when you read the document page 19 it states clearly before about brandy champo what you are seeing it is plain before your eyes that is who they are when I see people trying to justify what Brandy Champo is doing, so what about them? This is who they are. Their only thing is when they are leaving power, they need to steal and 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 steal and dry the system. When you read this forensic audit, it showed how Kenofuriata manipulated SNET 1999. Five billion. Took it away. The recommendation was that Kenoforiata, who received the checks. Now, when you read the background, by an undated investor participation memorandum from Data Bank Limited, and subsequently by a letter dated 10th December 1998 from Enterprise Insurance Company Limited, Social Security and National Insurance Trust, that SNIT, was invited to participate in a real estate investment opportunity. The investors claim that they had acquired a parcel of land lying between the Independence Avenue and Osu Avenue for that purpose. The proposed company is Obutan Developers Limited. That was the company Kenofurata created in 1998. Data Bank, Enterprise Insurance, and what we call Obutan, the Obutan Developers Limited. Snit. He used this to dupe snakes. The document is here. Meridia Chilemu so many times. Ken Oforiata, he stole your money, went to Europe, went to America. He came back wearing white, white, and we gave him power. Because we are foolish. Ah, Mahama Kacha said it was short memories. The damage Ken Oforiata did from 2017 to 2023. We are forgotten. And uh, Amin Adams Kwasi, I'm paying ten boy, another one aba, cleaning the shit of Ken Oforiata. This is the NPP. What you are seeing here is a playback. When you read this report, you read a recommendation. At a point, the report said this. By a letter dated February 26, 1999, on Data Bank letterhead, its executive chairman, Mr. Kenufuriata, requested the director general of SNET, Mr. Charles Asari, to make payments 
for shares of Obutan into an escrow account established at the Enterprise Insurance Company Limited. The reason why Data Bank Company Limited, which is not a shareholder in Obutan, requested SNIT to pay their money into EIC account is difficult to comprehend. Subsequently, on the advice of the board, 26 February 1999, from the solicitor secretary to the general manager of investment and development, SNIT paid $2.244 million to Enterprise Insurance Company Limited. That was the first payment. Ken Oforiata took the check. The recommendation was that Ken Oforiata and his group at Data Bank and Enterprise are supposed to face trial. This is the playback. And it's always at SNIT. Now, let me show you this. You see the SNIT board. See, who is the board chair? Madam Elizabeth Ohene. So why are you surprised about what is happening? Why are you shocked about the nonsense happening about... They are selling it. That is them. That is their trademark. They will finish you people. The facts, at least, we have forensic audit of what Ken Oforiata did. Yet the evidence, Grano, we have forensic audit of what Ken Oforiata did with Enterprise Insurance and Data Bank in 1998. And it's the same snit. Suddenly, Yao Osafumafo's son, for some strange reason, now is the boss of snit. The following two weeks, Ken, uh, 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 Brian the Champo is buying all hotels of snit. Are you, are you stupid? Are you not getting it? Elizabeth Ohine is the board chair of SNIT. Elizabeth Ohine. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. <coughs> we are foolish. Mr. Emmanuel Edu Sakodie, Ghana Employees Association, or Teso. These are the people who signed that Brian e. Champon, Yen Tong SNIT, no? Hotel SNIT, Emma, a e. MPP4. Brian Ejibi, Elizabeth Ohini Wum, a year, a year chief of staff womb, they are sharing it. What can you do? Nothing. You have no option. You can't do anything. What do you what can you do? You just have to vote them out. We have Mr. Joshua Ansa, organized labor. What would you show me a ball on Muguzo? Normally, I'm going to say a two thousand dollar. A organized labor for the a year, a year, a year, a year, they don't care. Now, these are the people on SNIT board. This woman, Mrs. Gloria Iron Amaka Paida, Ojinem Oedian, President, President nominee, She is the nominee. The president nominated her to go and sit on SNIT board. What do you think she's going to do there? Mrs. Abena Osei Asari. This woman was behind Ken Furiata as a deputy finance minister. Today, she's a minister of state. She is at the Jubilee House. She's on Senate board. What about them? Osei, what is happening? No? It is sheer coincidence. Where Jimmy Papa? Omu wea mkwa kwa ton tor. Omu wea mkwa ton GMPC. Five months, I can omu ton bibi ya. We are in this country. Mwede se mwbe hu. Mese. Omu ton tor. Omu ton GMPC. Me say five months or seven months. Mubo hundi yanko fuwe bayemo. Right now, Ken Furata, he's not showing face. Oh, he's pulling the strings. Oh, sa blueprint way. And no, no, the best finish him. Way and your friend ayer di ayer di obutan real estate scam, the biggest scam to hit the Republic of Ghana. And niti na JJ Rollins ni atamels ni a problem. That's all. Because JJ Rollins told atamels, when you fail to prosecute these people, they will come back and kill you. Atamel is not all yet Christo Sem. Yeah? So we finish it now. Bon to kuno and son of kunya too. JJ Rollins told Atamel, do not underestimate these people. They change their names. When you trap them and they leave, you allow them to escape. They'll come back and finish you harder. Oh, they can offer a talk about Wabe. I bet random dry. He stepped away. He's at the Jubilee House. When you say he doesn't know about this, he knows. He knows how the paperwork work. They know how to treat you people. Because my hand be a Jimmy. My soft be a Jimmy. You be a Jimmy. You people don't want to reason. 
ama famu se mwa muti tuba kute ina muni na mujani. They will take your country from you. Na sebi o obi anfa nuhu nchaso anka nanka uti ya. Kwa me nkuma mwa anfa nuhu nchaso anka kwa si anka uti ya from Ghana ni. Somebody has to do something. You think what I'm doing is easy? You think what I'm doing is fun? It's not. It's up to us to fight and protect this nation. This woman, Mrs. Abena Osei Asari, Ekufuado put her on. Osafumafu ba Mr. Kofi Bosompem Osafumafu. Osafumafu ba no to what? President Senior Advisor. We do one million dollars. Now no, this is KVIP bottle. This is what pisses some of us off. Brian Echampo Adia Oye no. It is orchestrated. Ooh. They have the blueprint there. They know you are foolish. Mwejimi. Some people will come and write articles. Some people will wear suits and come and grant interviews. It will not change anything. I swear to God, I keep telling you people. So we think, say, when we go in, into a classroom and sit with a white person and read grammar, when we come back and we are speaking to Ghanaians, I know who said Ghana for Jimmy. Be before Ghana for you, Jimmy. Go on Joy News. Go on City. They are sitting there speaking grammar. They have no future. Nothing. You are only one. Your, your GDP is 1.7 trillion. Somebody is taking your state assets from you. You are speaking grammar. The woman down there, Mrs. Gifty Annan, company secretary, or Jessica Chain, all headmasters in Ghana. Do you know that? Senate board secretary. She's paid than any teacher in Ghana. Some way, Jimmy. These are a Kufuado selected gangsters. They will run you people dry. This is the snit board. Into what Brandy Champo, Kasadi Duma Tema. You people are supposed to understand. Some way, Jimmy. Mr. Dr. Evans Agame Zikum, Rep. Organized Labor, Bola. Miss Ivy Betu Nasu, Rep. Organized Labor, Bola. Mr. Benjamin Odote Esuman, Rep. Snit Pension Association, Bola. <laughs> Peter Osei Dia, President Nominee Member. Some with Jimmy. How many president nominees are on this? Two. Secretary nominated by president. We are talking about state cabinet ministers. How many are they on it? We are talking about Elizabeth Ahine, a former head a journalist who is fully aligned with the NPP. She's the board chair. And in China, Ghana the country is going down the drain. Now Elizabeth Ahine, the new fusa tabono no ke kan kwasi asem. Do you know how much is making on that board? Or so yanku pon kuni to train. Elizabeth Tohine, old me board doggy, old me a missionary. Elizabeth Tohine, on the men's system, Elizabeth Tohine, men who possess do, or your ball and what bottom, and your tigan and a quasia for we a say crudo. Elizabeth Tohine, what cha eight years new. I will sit here, near the TV so a cabrofo, near the social media. Here, there, we don't insult here. What bottom, whether insult or no insult, you'll be a slave in your country. We there, we are on social media. Our platform, we insult. We don't insult, we don't insult. Kwasia, you'll be a slave. Speak to the issues. Let the people know that whatever penny you put in the country, it needs to benefit you. Wait, Jimmy, come to America and see. Do you know the reason why uh, the United States government, they pulled out of Edian, uh, PDS, because it's a taxpayer's money. When they give the money to you and you people blow it up, somebody has to answer questions. They don't want to be answering questions to the taxpayer. So they pulled out 190 million. They will give it to you because it is the taxpayer's money. Every single American can ask them a question. They are speaking grammar. And what do you think? What do you think? You know, and you say, Jimmy, some of you. And the ones who are educated are more foolish than all the uneducated in Ghana. I am telling you. These are demons. Eh? These people. They are dangerous. Today, Brian Champion was asked. So, what does chair say? Rock City near Odia. Yes. Rock City, no. I am a But I don't have anything to do with it. I am just a shareholder. 
and as a shareholder, the decision those uh, the executive take, you know, I don't influence it. Oh, into what is happening now? A whole rock city is buying about four hotels. You know, you as a shareholder and the owner of the company, you want us to believe you don't have any interest in it. You are a fool. When Rock City makes profit from this decision, are you going to benefit as the shareholder, the biggest shareholder? Yes, you are a fool to tell us say you are just a shareholder and that what is happening. Abuwa and Yawa and Casa Rock City no Benja Sachans we are lobby for four, four or five hotels a year Ghana for And we sit there and we listen to these animals. Because Munina, Jimmy, including myself, young Bobia Trimutu, we have not shown any aggression. We just sit every day and say, God, now we're going to go to Kwasia. We're going to go to Jimmy. And now, whoever is God, do you think it's because of Ghana or is a state? God does not have time for a fool. Go to the Pakistan country. Go to Pakistan. Go to a, a Palestine country. Somebody nebeu ne yirewu ne bi biewu aka ono nko a bomb ne send e wu. That person every morning is doing what? Doing salah to ask God for favor. Kwasia, you live in a country, you have access to everything. You are still saying God should come and intervene. You are a fool. Go to Palestine. Go to other countries where they are going through hell. People have lost their lives, their kids, their wives. They wake up every morning and tell God, thank you very much. They are looking up to God. You, you have everything at your disposal. Kwasia, your fellow Ghanaian is intimidating you, killing you, suppressing you. You sit there and say, yeah, You think, these are the foolish things he thinks about? As I speak, somebody has been blown into pieces somewhere in the world. Those people are still forging forward. Why are we so timid? Why are we so stupid? Now, I dear Betiano Panam Kwasia for she says, see you to TV. So, I had the we don't insult. Here, dear, we are we are talking English. A poor, not bro, you know, the bro for buying. Go to every European country. There was a time. That they revolted against their leadership. You know why? Because they didn't want some people to intimidate them. They didn't want some group of people to oppress them. They didn't want people to take their democracy from them. So when you foolishly wear some Vietnam suit and you sit on TV, say you are an analyst, you are an expert, you are a fool. Speak on issues. Let the Ghanaian listen to you and understand that these politicians are stealing from you. The taxpayers' money, the slate money does not belong to these fools. It belongs to you and I. We need to all understand this simple issue. Now look at this. This is where we are. One day I'll publish this whole document. And I've, I've spoken on this. Go into our videos. And there's a forensic audit. There are recommendations. And to date, we allowed Kenofuriata to go, come back. Uh, foolish people. Now look at this. Eh? In Sembi Wohu, I only have so. Yanka, if we say, no matter where we live, how God has helped us, blessed us through hard work, we still believe in Ghana. The last thing on my mind is to see Ghana go down. People turn into slaves in their own country. That was the last. That will be the last thing I will ever want to see. So there are some things we don't do it. We don't say it. We don't direct you people there. kashi. You see, there are some things we try to restrain ourselves. The things we know, I know, as Kevin, in Ghana, 90% of Muamote Ghana, you don't know. So when I sit here, and I've always trusted my team and trusted this platform I've built. Nobody has been able to, at least, I've seen people insult me, insult my wife, insult my family insult my wife's family insult my kids insult people they see as my friends it has never bothered me at least i know nobody has contested my credibility 
and has contested the authenticity of this platform. At least I hold on to that. I'm human. I can be insulted. I don't care. My wife can be insulted. I don't care. She's not the most beautiful woman on, on this planet. Reality. I don't care. So insulting me, insulting my wife, insulting my family. I don't care. But what you cannot touch when it comes to me and my team and what I have built is the credibility and authenticity I have built this from. And if today I quit this, good, reasonable, intelligent people will always remember me. And I've not done this alone. There are people who have helped me to get to this point. And through the consistent message from myself, people on my TV, other young Ghanaians who are honest and willing to speak truth. That is what gives me, me, the confidence to sit on TV every four hours. Because when you see young people, they could have built something better home. They are outside this country trying to make life, but they make time to speak on issues in Ghana. Free mind, Kenya, he's living good. He could have left Ghana behind. He spent hours on radio, on TV, trying to let you understand that you need to make some decisions to change your life. Those who have also sacrificed home in Ghana to work, speak, Ransford Kebu Achimo, Enomaka, it is commitment. It is about dedication. So sometimes when we sit here, it is not say we hate anybody. I have never hated anyone. But there's one thing I've always said. I will not allow you to intimidate me because you think you have some power. And that is what we need to understand. God of When you come to America and you're excited, you go to the UK and you're excited, you go to Europe, everywhere, the people fought for their democracy. I swear to God. This is the only chance you people have. <laughs> That is the only opportunity. And you see, I am not spiritually inclined, sir. And I don't let you think, say, I am not going to read the Bible. I am not going to read the Hebrew Bible. I am not. I try. But what I can tell you from my little experience on this earth, I am going to Ghana for some reason. And the major Mahama lose 2016. I swear. So you got your Mahama lose 2016. I can't talk about this Ghana. Me say, so you got your Mahama force in who Ghana force so. And okay, I say Abani Yiriem on Tiasi. And anki J Muma your Mahama. Anka first year of your Mahama 2017. Kaga Ghana be bo. I'm telling you, the kind of things we were seeing from chiefs, from priests from the whole clergy, from the youth, the way people are inciting young Ghanaians against the John Mahama NDC administration. Senka John Mahama, of for to me 2016, this country would have gone down 2017. Flat. But you see, me say, I don't have any third eye. I plan, I use my common sense and everything. But my instinct tells me, say, 2016 had to happen in every man's life in our physical or spiritual life at the point there should be a 10 there should be a turning point at the place the moment you get to that turning point and you do not turn you are straight heading to your doom god in his own wisdom gives every man one chance one one chance jesus christ we, as human, we didn't give him another chance. We got him and we finished him. By God in his own wisdom, he gives man one more chance every time. And God gave Ghana one chance. But before God can give you that chance for you to appreciate it, he needs to make you go through some level of what? Pain to learn from your mistakes. We have never seen anything like what we are witnessing today. A whole country, people are being killed. And for four years, no man of God, no senior man of God has been able to stand on TV to say this needs to be investigated. No man has been able to do that in Ghana. Eight people were shot in one election. 
I should tell you something. We have only one shot at everything now. One shot. We can choose to blow it up. And let me tell you for a fact. We will all lose. What we are witnessing is not normal. Let's put our tribe aside. Let's put our differences aside. Let's put our religious difference. Let's put everything aside. What we are seeing, it's not normal. But the voice of the people is the voice of God. And if we say we are a God country or a, a religious country that believes in God, the reason why I'm not saying we are a Christian country is because and yet Christ of one quampire and they save Ghana. So many religions, Muslim before Kaho, Wan Wan, Omo Munjin Yanku Pundinya, every single person came together to sustain Ghana to this point. So as far as we are a country that believes in God, we should understand what is happening. And we are so for, and you believe in trials and tribulations, and you believe that in life, some things are supposed to talk to you let you know that your god is calling even the so-called men of god who say they are enshrined they are so holy at a point in their life they still have that calling that you are human and that you need to recalibrate ghana needs serious recalibration we have spoken all the english we have done all the interviews we have criticized each other for eight good years. We have become enemies to each other. Why? Because the people we gave power to to make us love each other, they have split us into pieces. We are supposed to go to the ballot, elect a leader to put us together. That is it. For us to work together to just achieve one thing, prosperity. But the people we came together to give power to, they have divided us. Today, we hate each other. Today, we don't understand each other. Today, we don't respect each other's religion. We don't understand each other because some people we give power to consistently have found ways to draw lines so we cannot make sense to each other again. You see men, matured men, stand on TV, call themselves journalists and make some statements and they're like, what are you defending here? What are you defending? What are you fighting? Why are you against rights? You see someone like Paul Adamotri. He has a wife. He has kids. He wants a better life for them. He has seen people killed. He has seen the economy being run down. He has stolen. He has seen people stealing. He knows the economy. People are struggling for air, oxygen in hospitals. He does not care. He still says, my fellow Ghanaians go through hell. Why do you think we have to why do you think people are supposed to be so mean? Why should we get to this point? If there's one thing I love about Americans, they can have their differences, but don't touch what is called America. Americans can have their differences at home. Speak to each other at home. Do whatever to each other at home, but don't try to touch what is America because America is what makes America. But we don't learn we don't understand. We don't even know who we are again. Story I OT Ciano. A platform my friend Pendrim TV. Aha and I OT story no. Na u feedback we hear and pa story our T no. Any story be our platform is be our T O Pese U my feedback no. Um Fafa WhatsApp mess or WhatsApp number. Zero two seven seven one two eight seven seven seven. Now, you have bought our pendulum for my gun for you now at your own car. I didn't come out. I'm in the pendulum TV. Now, so far, so good. Say, so, open okay, online portal. I work Ghana. Ah, you can share. You can follow. You can comment here. To my best of knowledge, without any biases, I have pendulum TV.